Salarhan here and today we discuss uh, the conversions. We start the conversions from one number system into another and the first one we take is the binary number system. So first we convert. Uh, converting binary. Converting binary number Two. So let's say this is the heading, all right? Converting binary number two. The first that we deal with is the. Uh, let me take the colors first. So the first number system that we convert binary into is the decimal number system. All right. So as we know that the binary is a weighted system, a decimal is a weighted system in which each of uh, its number has its own weight. So let's say a number is given as uh, a0, a1, a2, a3, up to so on, moving to the left, it is a n. So what do you do? This is a, actually a binary number. So for the binary number, you do what? You multiply this number by its weight, where weight is given by r to the power of this decimal, where r is what? r is the base, let's say. So you multiply this a naught. To convert, you multiply this a naught by r, r to the power of zero, all right? Then this a1 is multiplied by r to the power of one a2 is multiplied r to the power 2 and up to so on you come up to a n multiplied with r to the power n all right you multiply all of them you add it you add them okay and that will give you the decimal equivalent is that fine now if we have something after the decimal if we have a decimal and then we have a minus 1, a minus 2, a minus 3, up to, up to a minus n. So what do we do here? Now we take again this a minus 1 and multiply it with r to the power negative 1. a negative 2 multiplied with r to the power negative 2 and so on it goes till a to the power neg a n negative n raised uh, into r raised to the power negative n and you add them over here also so that is the equivalent all right this is the basic rule now let us have an example one one let's say one zero one zero one one zero one zero one point one one point one one this is a binary number and we have to convert it into a decimal, all right? So each of the uh, position is multiplied by its weight. Uh, so uh, let's say we have we start with this uh, from the uh, this bit one. So this is uh, a one multiplied by two to the power zero, then a zero multiplied two to the power one, then one multiplied two to the power two then 0 multiply 2 to the power 3 and then 1 multiply 2 to the power 4. So you multiply them, all right? Uh, and then what do you do? After the decimal you have, you multiply it with the negatives. So we have a 1 into 2 to the power negative 1 and then we have 1 uh, into 2 to the power negative 2. And then what do you do? You add all of them. Add all of them. So, 2 to the power 4 is 16. And 1 multiply 16 is 16. Then we have 0. Then we have 2 to the power 2 is 4. And then we have a uh, 0 again. And then 1 multiply 2 to the power 0 is 1. So we have a 1. 2 to the power negative 1 is 1 over 2. And then 2 to the power negative 2 is 1 over 4. Right? 
Then, now adding 16 plus 4 is 20, 20 plus 1 is 21. Uh, the LCM is 4, and then we have a 3 by 4 from this. So, plus 3 by 4. So, if you solve this 3 by 4, 3 by 4 is uh, 0.75. So, we have uh, 21.75. So, the decimal equivalent for this number is what? It's a 21.75. All right? Yes. Okay. If we have another example, it's uh, 1, 1. Uh, 1, 1, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, point 1, 0, 1, point 1, 0, 1. This is in decimal uh, binary and you need the decimal equivalent. So again, uh, the same method, start with uh, this, 2 to the power 0, okay? So it's 0 multiplied 2 to the power 0, it's a 1 into 2 to the power 1, 1 into 2 to the power 2, 0 into 2 to the power 3, 1 into 2 to the power 4, and 1 into 2 to the power 5, all right? And then we have a point 1 into 2 to the power negative 1, uh, 0 into 2 to the power negative 2, and 1 into 10 2 to the power negative 3. And you do what? You add all of them. So this is the first term, this is the second. You add all of them. All right? So 2 to the power 5 is what? It's 32. It is 32 plus 2 to the power 4 is 16. This is 0, then 2 to the power 2 is 4. Then we have a 2, and then we have 0, 1 over 2, and then we have 1 over 8. All right? So uh, let me do this through a calculator or, or read directly, man. So 32, uh, this would make it a 20 and this would make it a 34. 34 plus 20 is what? It's a 54 and plus uh, 1 over 2 plus 8 by 2. 1 over 2 plus 1 over 8, sorry. So 1 over 2 plus... 1 over 8 gives you 1 over 16 and so this is 1 over 16 and 1 over 16 is what? It's 0 0.625. So the decimal equivalent is 54.625. Uh, uh, yeah, All right, so that's about it. All right, the next one is converting from binary into uh, octal, let's say. Octal. The second is octal. So now, what do you do in the case of octal? As we know that 2 to the power 3 is 8. So in binary, we considered each and every bit singly. And now we do what? In the octal system, we divide, in a, we divide the number, divide the number into a group of three bits, all right? You divide into a group of three bits and then convert the, those, those groups, okay? And convert the groups. Now, what do I mean? So, uh, let me explain through an example. We have an example over here. Is 1000, 1000, 11010, 11010. This is given in binary, and we need the octal equivalent, base 8 equivalent, okay? So, what do you do? Do you do from left to, from the right to left, you convert it, okay? into a group of three bits from right to left. From right to left. So three bits, this is group number one, this is group number two, and this is group number three. So now zero, one, zero is what? You know, zero, one, zero is two. 
because this 2 to the power 0 is 0, 2 to the power 1 is 1. So this is, uh, so this is 2 to the power 1 is 2, so this is 0, 1, 0 is 2 actually. Then you have 2 to the power 0 is 1 and 3 to the power 1 is 1, so this is 3. And then you have 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2 is 1, so which means this is 4. And the decimal equivalent of this number is a 432. All right. Let's say we have another number, 1, 1, uh, okay, 6 ones. We have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 0, uh, and we need its octal equivalent. So what do you do? Do I enter a group of threes? So this is the first group. This is the second group. And the third group, we don't have enough numbers. So if you don't have, you add zeros to the left. So this is zero, this is zero. So we have now a group of three now. So this is what? This is two to the power one and two to the power two, which means this is four plus one. This is four, yes? This is one. So four plus one, this is five. Now this is, have a look. This is one, this is two, this is four. So 4 plus 2 is 6, and two, 6 plus 1 is 7. And this one is 2 to the power 0, this is 1. So, so 175 is the decimal equivalent of this number. All right. Now if you have a decimal point over here, so in that case you group from the right, to, from the uh, left to right. All right. So let us have an example. It's like this. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, point, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So before the decimal, you have a group of trees from right to left. This is the first group. This is the second group. This is from right to left. But after the decimal, after the decimal, you have it from the left to right. So this is the first group. And now if you have a, a, a not insufficient number, so you do what? You add zeros to the right. And this is the second group, all right? And again, the same way. So, uh, it, so this is 111 is 8, 010 is 2, 011 is 3, 100 is 4. So the, so the, uh, so the base 8 uh, number is 82.34. Simple, all right? Okay, so the next thing we have is converting the binary number into a hexadecimal number. So I removed that red portion. I had to write uh, the same way, but we'll explain. So as we know that 2 to the power 4 is 16, and, and, and in case of the binary, we convert it each and every single bit. Then in case of in the octal, we convert it into a group of threes. Here, in the hexadecimal conversion, we divide the number into group of four bits all right from left to right from right to left in the same manner before the decimal part and after the decimal you go from the left to right all right so let us have an example on it uh one zero one 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 zero one one zero one 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 zero one 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 this is a hexadecimal number uh, sorry, this is a binary number and you need its hexadecimal equivalent. All right, so what do you do? You divide into a group of fours. So from right to left, okay, we don't have any decimals. So this is the first group, this is the second group. So this to the power zero, this is one, this is two, and this is what? This is four. So four, two, one, this is seven. And have a look, this is one, this is two, this is four, and this is eight. So 4 is not present and it's in the low state. So we have 8, 2, and 1. We have 11. And 11 in the hexadecimal system, we write it as B. So the just for this base 16 equivalent is B7. All right. The next example, let's say we have uh, 1000, 1101, 0001. This is again in binary and we need its uh, base 16 equivalent, all right? So what do you do? Dividing into a group of fours, first group, second group, and third group. So this is one only, we have a one. Then we have a one, two, four, eight. 
you need to remember there's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, the powers of 2's, okay? So this would be 11, which means this is a B, and this is uh, 1, 2, 4, and 8. So this is 8. So the decimal equivalent is 8B1. 8B1. All right, now. Now what do you do? If we, have, uh, if we have a decimal, so let us have an example on the decimal as well, a simpler one, let's say we have a 1001, 0010, a decimal 1101, 0101. Uh, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now this is a base 2 and we need its equivalent in base 16. So what do you do? Dividing into a group of fours, from the, before the decimal, you divide it from right to left. And after the decimal, you divide it from left to right. So this is the first group and this is the second group. This is the first group and this is the second group. All right. So this is uh, 2. Yes. And this is 1 and 8. This is 9. This is what now? This is 1, 2, 4, 8. This is 11, uh, which means this is B. And this is 1 and 4, 5. So the decimal equivalent of this number is 92B5. 92B5. Alright, so I suggest you solve some more book examples and any examples that you get from these conversions. This is, uh, these are important and these are easy as well. So that's all for this lecture. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture. We'll be converting some other system uh, into these other systems. Uh, that's all for today. Thank, thank you very much. Goodbye.